Hey friends, it's Carol, Saltbox Stitcher, back for um, a stitchy video this time. Last week I did a quilt video, and today I'm going to do a stitchy video. So, um, where's my trusty companion? I think this is episode... Just a minute, I gotta get the clothes out of the dryer. Okay. Yeah. Miss Math again. Mr. Math. What year were we married minus the number of children that you have, we have? We or you or me? <laughs> there's, we. there's ours and there's yours. We. Okay, so we were married in 82 and we have two kids, so it must be number 80. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. You got it. I'll go start another load of wash. Yeah, make sure you fold them, too. <laughs> oh, believe that one. We'll tell you another one. I have been busy. Uh, I'm kind of finally got a little bit of a break on quilts, so I've been also doing some finishing. So I had some starts. I had some finishes. I have some FFOs. Shocker! <laughs> So, I guess let's get started. So, I tried to organize the things in front of me, but I don't know if I did a very good job. So, I'm, first I'm going to talk about things that I have touched and stitched in the last three weeks. Because it's been three weeks since my last video. And I'm going, it'll be two weeks till I come back. So it kind of worked out that I skipped last weekend. Um, because this Thursday, I'm leaving for Amana and coming back on Sunday. So it'll be a quick four-day trip, but I'm really looking forward to it. I One of the best parts of retreats is just to get together with friends and people that you only see at retreats that are virtual friends that have become real friends. So I'm looking, really looking forward to that. So one of the things I touched was my village of Hakran Hollow. I'm not very far on this. This is by Carriage House Samplings. I do love it. And for some reason, I don't know if it's the colors. So, and I, I, I realize there's an autumn at Hakran, but this is village. But somehow it just calls to me in the fall. So. I picked this one up. I guess I better move my coffee lest I drag anything through the coffee. So I, I'm working on the second block and I picked this one up. I did all the grass behind the fence and I'm working on these willow trees which have a lot of back stitching. Okay. So that's where I am on that. I'm still working on the house. So that's block number two. And I'll get back to that too because I really enjoy doing that. And I'm using the NPI silks with that. What else did I touch? I touched a little bit on my pumpkin season. And thank you to people that have sent me pictures of theirs. You can get this at Victorian Rose Needle Arts. She has that pattern, so if you're interested in stitching Pumpkin Season, which is by um, Exemplars from the Heart, Pumpkin Season. I've shown this one before, so this isn't anything new. So I worked a little bit on the second house. I put in a little bit of the roof and started a little bit on the windows and the color of the house. Um, somebody messaged me that they weren't gonna put in the words, which is scary, friendly, sweet and silly, all these pumpkins are a dilly. Now I've already gone down on my border, so I don't know, in order to eliminate the words, I think I would have to, um, enlarge the grass, which I might do. 
I, I'm not crazy about the words either. And the letters that are in here um, amongst the grass, I think are initials of maybe her children or her whatever. So I'm not going to do that either. So we'll see. So again, this is pumpkin season. And see, I already turned the corner. Now I could take that out, but I don't know. We'll see. Let me mute my phone so it's not continually, I mean my watch. And my phone. Okay, there we go. Tech issues. And that I'm using the NPI silks as well. Some really pretty colors on the pumpkin season. But it also calls for DMC, so. The other thing, I actually picked this one up last night for a little while to work on. This is Casting a Spell by Blackbird. I'm not sure if this is still available or not. I sort of think it might be. Some people said they were starting it. Um, a group. Somebody I saw on Instagram was starting this. So I'm working on these, the middle section pieces. And if you'll notice, they sit down in the box versus these four outer pieces are more like pin cushions. So once I get these four done, I may go ahead and, or the inside six, I should say. Once I get those done, I may... Go ahead and paint the box and do uh, finish those because that's motivating. And these these will go really fast. There's also additional pin cushions that you can make from this pattern. Very cute. And I it it has a lid on the box with a piece of glass. You can kind of see the lid up here. Yeah, I broke my <laughs> I broke the glass on the lid. But I think that's okay. I don't think it needs to have that glass. I, in fact, I think you could completely take the lid off. It's just hinged on. I don't know, we'll see. But I definitely want to get this finished. This has been a whip for a long time. So I have, let's see. Um, this is a fat half of 30 count, so I don't know why I'm working on such a big piece, but I am. So there's one, then Halloween, but I'm adding on this Halloween, there's another color that goes in around that little checkerboard looking border. And then I, so let's see, I did this one, I did the Halloween. I finished this one and then these other two I had done already. So yeah, I'm getting some things done on that. And I, ha I haven't cut the fabric. Someone asked me how I hold fabric when I'm, you know, have a big piece, but I started out garment sewing, you know, and you've got a, a jacket and you're trying to hem on something on a sleeve or something. I'm just used to handling. And I have a really light touch when I'm holding those things, so that's just how I stitch in hand. I don't, I don't know that I do anything different or weird. I just don't think it's a problem for me. Now, if I'm using a hoop, like when I do over one stitching, um, sometimes grabbing the hoop and a lot of extra fabric can be kind of an issue, but I manage. And the colors for that, there's only five or six colors for that um, casting a spell piece. So that's something I touched. And then I had a couple starts, finishes. Okay, so next thing I'm going to show you is what I've spent a lot of time on. No. Next I'll show you a start. This is something I've always wanted to do. This is Olga's Autumn Stocking by Plum Street. I love this. I've had this kitted for 
for years. It came out in 2016. I've probably had it kitted about that long. So I decided to go ahead and start that. And that's just, oops, the beginning of right up here. And I'm using, <laughs> it's a piece of Lakeside. Um, 36 count pearl barley by Lakeside, which is the called for. It's kind of a gray brown. So I'm looking forward to getting back to that. And I'm using all the called for, which there's some DMC, there's Weeks, there's Gentle Art, the whole gamut of floss, cotton floss. So I touched that. I don't think I'll finish that this year. Um, there's a few things that even though technically, you know, Halloween and all that will be over in October, that I think I can carry into November stitching because it's fall-ish. Um, the next thing that I've spent quite a bit of time on is gather the Gather In by Plum Street. Love the horse, love the pumpkins in the barn. I just love this piece. And this is where I am on that. I've started the grass. I do not have the house filled in I, only to the top of the windows. And there's, there's a lot of stitching left on this. A lot. Because you've got the rest of the grass. You've got the horse. The over one down here that says Calliope. Calliope. Calliope, the gentle steed. So I have quite a bit, but this is one of the ones that I think can go into November because it's, you know, fall pumpkins gathering food for the feast. Thanksgiving. Now there's other things I want to work on in November. So that will be sharing time. And then I pulled out... Um, this piece, the cereal bowl, I think I showed you this last time and I pulled this out. Sampler lesson four. Be you to others kind and true as you would have others be to you. And I had a finish and an FFO. Look at me. This one, actually, there were some pieces that Paulette came out with that came with floss. Not linen, but floss. So she did it like this. So that's what I used, what came with it, which is the called for. And then, in case you're wondering, the board here, hold on. Let's see if I can hold this down so you can. We'll put this in the drop down box too. But the board is from April Taylor Homestead Needle Works with an E. Works with an E. And she's on Etsy. So take a screenshot if you're interested, but we will also put it in the drop down box. Is that focusing? Hope so. So I had the orange one. I'd had it from years past. I thought about putting a black ribbon. I don't know that I love this ribbon with it. I probably would rather have a piece of jute. It's not as bright. It's very olivey. Olivey? <laughs> it's very olive in person. But I thought this turned out really cute. Really cute. And in case you think it's not centered, that's how the pattern is. Where one side is larger than, or 
there's more margin on one side because of this sunflower. So that was a finish, a start, a finish, and an FFO. I think I need a round of applause. <laughs> I'm sure he'll add applause. <laughs> His little editing. <laughs> and then I thought this was really interesting. <laughs> Coincidental, I guess you would say. So I picked up this to stitch, and this was a dying to stitch club kit that came out in 2016. While I'm stitching on it, this is a new release by Paulette. Well, there's a bird right on the windshield. I mean windshield. <laughs> yeah, I'm in my car. Right on the um, windowsill. So it's called Autumn Cottage. She just released it. It's available now, but originally it was a dying to stitch kit. So it also was a start, a finish, and an FFO. <laughs> the applause just needs to keep coming here. And that one, I just put some orange. It's kind of a crackle fabric on the back. I'm not 100% sure about the bow, but... The only thing I would say about this... And I did look at some of the places that are um, starting to carry the pattern since she just released it. The roof on the picture looks blue. The color it calls for is bark. I think it's bark by weeks. And bark is kind of a green black. Now there is a color called blackboard that has a little bit of blue. So if you want to switch and have a blue roof, then I, or a blue, kind of bluish roof, then I would switch to blackboard. Also, it called originally for the Plum Street Blend. See how my roof is very black, black green. It called for Plum Street Blend, which is an R&R &R fabric, 36 count, because this all came kitted originally. And, the white is uh, parchment. I think I, if I had it to do over again, I would lighten up the white, maybe to whitewash or something like that, or even just a white DMC, because it sort of blends in. Same with my gather in um, that I'm working on. That white house, is, it'll be fine. And I don't usually backstitch, so, um, but I think Paulette does, there's another one that was kind of a white house, but they end up looking fine. So it's up to you, you know, if you want to make the house a little whiter and brighter. But I thought it turned out cute and I thought it was so erotic. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm stitching on that right now. And here she releases it. She had two other new releases too, but this is one of them. Again, it's called Autumn Cottage. So I finished that one. And then, um, oh, I had another finish, but not FFO'd. This one was part of my whips. Quaker Crow by the work, ba work Basket. And I want to do this stand up. That's why I haven't FFO'd it yet. That's a little more tedious in your planning. Now, I use the called, well, it calls for 35 count straw. And I think I use 36 count um, sand dune by Lakeside. Straw is from Weeks. So, Quaker Crow by the work basket, and I finished it. And I brought this to show you because this is a stand-up, and this is what I want to do with that. It'll be a lot bigger than this one. This is a Brenda Gervais spring one. I can't remember the name of it. But I did the finishing on this one. And the, it can get a little tricky because basically you're cutting this shape sewing it together on this whole side 
and then you have to fit this in just like you would a drum but I just brought that to show you so when I was trying to figure out the curve which is a little bit of math I was trying to give it a margin a pretty big margin on the side you know like a half an inch from here and here and that just made too big of an arch and so I kind of looked at the pattern again and realized there's hardly any margin around the bird so this will take a little bit of figuring to do the finishing on this one but I'm glad it's finished I, I liked it I I used a black it was a random black I had and it said um, I think I need to come down just a hair it said um, that it was Noir, N-O-I-R, but I don't think it was a Verisois. I don't know. It was definitely a silk, but it was kind of thicker than a normal, than a Verisois silk. So I'm not sure what it was, but it worked and I like it. Quaker Crow by the work basket. So I finished that and I picked a fabric I have that's almost matches the linen. In person, it matches a little better because I just want it to be, look solid. Um, I had another finish, FFO. This I finished last, I did the stitching last year. And I'll be putting this on my little tree over here. This is called Cat in the Moon by Brenda Gervais with Thy Needle and Thread. This stitches up super fast. And I did it last year, found it in my basket, of this huge basket I have of stuff that needs to be FFO'd. And so I decided to go ahead and FFO it. I just used a um, small hoop. I think Brenda sells these small hoops on her website, which is Country Stitches Online but I don't know if you can get this small of one and this is probably a four inch hoop I don't know if you can get this at like the Hobby Lobby's Joann's Michael's maybe I don't know so I used some green um, rickrack around it and then I just made it so it has a little tie or thing a hanger type thing at the top and I just added a bell a rusty bell kind of to cover up that joint the cat in the moon and then another one that I didn't show you that I had finished last year is this one this is the Reverend let's see the Reverend Gordon squash bottom by not forgotten farm love this piece love it and this one I want to get framed, so I need to have my husband make a frame or find a frame that'll fit this one. It almost looks like it's cockeyed. It almost looks like the fabric needs to be straightened. But I think he's really cute. Another white house. <laughs> I used all the called for on that. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was something that I finished in the past that I didn't bring out last time. This is Midnight Ride by Blackbird. And I think I'd like to do this little guy too. Isn't he cute? A little piece of green linen. That would go fast. A little witch's hat. Now this one I did in 2016 and I finished it on the box. I used all the called for. The black doesn't, you know, it was kind of, hmm, didn't show up great. It's, it's not as dark as the picture, but I still like it. It's on a LaHaye's box that was, it was, dis, or excuse me, it's on a Lone Elm box, Lone Elm Lane box. So whatever it called for, um, <laughs> six inch sewing box. 
And there's another blackbird piece that I think it's a Thanksgiving one that you can stitch to put on this because you can you can remove it. It just pops out. So you could put something else. <laughs> oh my goodness, I have all these you, you know all these sewing scissor holder things that you get. My goodness. It's interesting what you find. <laughs> bought a random box <laughs> I think that's all of my finishes I don't think I showed you I didn't this is okay back up here just a bit my gather in that I showed you I'm using the everything called for so here's the called for threads there's quite a few that are DMC and weeks and it's 40 count. I think it calls for 36, but I decided to use 40 count. It's graham cracker is the color and the name of the linen, which is Kitten Stitcher's son, Graham, who does the dyeing. So graham cracker linen you can find from Kitten Stitcher. I love this linen. Let's see if I can get it. There's a little bit better color. It's just a really, really pretty neutral. It would be a good sampler color too. And I have quite a bit of it left because I got a fat half. So, got that. I think I, oh, I show, here's one more thing I wanted to show you. This is a gift that I got um, years ago at one of the farm girl gathering exchanges. I just love this piece. And this is done over I think this is like 46 count. It's by Lisa Real. It's a box that she mounted this on. I love this piece. I'm not 100% sure who this is by. Maybe Not Forgotten Farm. Oh, no. Bonnie's Bittersweet by Scarlet House. I still have her note in here, so I kept that. Bonnie's Bittersweet by Scarlet House. I just love that on the coverlet. So I get this out every year. I just love it. Okay, so another one that I'd like to start, even obviously if I don't finish it, is Jack's Bash by Plum Street. I'm trying to get a lot of these Plum Street ones that I've wanted to do for quite a while. So that's the picture right side up, and here's the name right side up, Jack's Bash. And I have this one kitted. The called for is 36, 35 count Abyssidarian by R&R. Um, &R. And here's the called for floss. I may want to change the color of the linen. Somebody was doing it on cedar plank. I think it was Pam. But there's a, you know, you could do this on a variety of colors because, well, you do have white, so you want that to show up, but you could go darker for sure. I really like that. I think that is adorable. So I may just get a wild hair and decide to start that. I mean, I think I, I think I've earned it, don't you? I think I've earned a new start. Oh. Although, gather in Olga's stocking and then the two that I FFO'd, those were all new starts. So maybe I haven't earned that many. <laughs> but anyway, I like the fall stitching and um, I'm going to show you some patterns. Who knows when I'll get to them, but they're here, so... Here's one that I've really always wanted to do. This is Thomas by Not Forgotten Farm. I didn't take this one out of the plastic. And most of the ones I'm going to show you, I didn't take out of the plastic. Thomas by Not Forgotten Farm. I did get a conversion from somebody. Maybe Pam Horner. I'm not sure if that she did it. And I'm not sure if that's 
so that it's because it calls for all DMC and there's some overdies in this grouping. Now, people have done this Thomas on a lot of different fabrics. And I got out some that might be candidates. So some people have done it on murky. I'm not a huge fan. I like the I like murky. I just think it's not for every piece. If I did it on murky, I would do it here where I had a lot of lighter versus some of the areas that are darker. So not 100% sold on murky, but that's a possibility. I have a piece of um, 36 count ale by picture this plus, which is also, I guess I should be holding the threads which is also a candidate. I think I would like this ale. And I have a big piece, so I would still, you know, you don't want to use all your linen. If you do, then you have to buy more in that color. It's like you have some, some to stash and you have some to use. You know, this is a disease. Anyway, I think ale would be a good choice for these colors. I can't seem to get the blue to show up in the grays because there's so many pretty blues and grays in this. See, I think that would be good. So that's a possibility. And then I got out a piece of um, Needle and Flax Andorra. This is 36 count Andorra by Needle and Flax. And I think that would be a good choice too. It's a little more gray, more toward the murky. So I'm not sure, but I'm definitely gonna work on that in November. I mean, turkey, hello. Oh, wait, I have one more piece of needle and flax too. And this is 40 count uh, Steinbeck. A little bit lighter, but again, grays versus the ale is more the brown tones. So I think any of these would work. It's just whatever I decide to work, do it on. Okay, enough combing and petting fabric. So that's one that I wanna work on. And then um, I'm just gonna show you patterns, okay? Okay. Here's a Not Forgetting Farm Cedar Waxing. Very cute. It's like a stack of pumpkins with a bird in a bowl. Very cute. Here's a Lottie Da pattern. Love that one. Give thanks. This would be, you know, you don't see a lot, a lot of Thanksgiving ones. I guess by Thanksgiving, everybody's already on to decorating for Christmas, but I like to enjoy each season. So that one I think is really cute. I love the alphabets. I might have to start this. What's this call for? The um, Farm Girl Gathering Retreat next week. It, the feature designer is Lori Markovic from La Di Da. So, sorry, somebody's calling me and I'm going to ignore it. Hold on. Maybe I won't ignore it. I'll just silence it if I can find my phone. <laughs> um, let's see, what does it call for? It calls for Wren, and I have plenty of Wren. And it's a combination of DMC, Gentle Art, and that's it, just uh, DMC and Gentle Art. Oh, fits nicely in a Joanne box. Oh, so that's cute. It's in a little, it's in a little box. I don't think I would do that, but it is cute. So I have plenty of Wren, but I wouldn't use 32 count, because I'm not... Putting it in the box is not my interest. Um, 
There again, I'm going to show you a lot of patterns. So I like to collect charts. Some of them I have kitted, some of them I don't. Um, this is the coverlet court. This isn't necessarily fall, but to me it has a fall feel. By Scarlet House. This one I have completely kitted. This is Fall Frolic. That would be another cute one to start. Now that one does, does it have a witch? Doesn't have a witch. Has a owl and a moon. That's just really cute. I love the border on that. The randomness of the border. Fall Frolic by Scarlet House. One of my friends got this finished and it's adorable. This is Pumpkins and Bittersweet, also by Scarlet House. Very cute. Now it does have over one, but I think it gives you an alternate. You don't have to necessarily put the Bittersweet in over one down there. I have that one kitted. Here's another one, Pumpkin Pumpkin by the Scarlet House. Now this one, she did the whole thing over one. I'm not doing that. Which by the way, <laughs> random thought, I did not finish my Jane Cowie yet. I did work on some of the over one, but I haven't finished it. So I'm kind of gonna take that to do all those, that over one, like straight through. <laughs> A little mind bending for me, so. But this is Pumpkin Pumpkin by Scarlet House. And if you, it's, the stitch count is 152 by 86. So if you did it on 40 count, it'd be like seven and a half by, I don't know, four and a half. So it's not huge. I mean, it would be a nice size stand up. If you did it on 30 or 46, it would even be smaller. So that would, that would work. Okay, I'm going to keep going here. I'm going to show you a few... Um, Brenda Gervais, but not all that I have. And the reason I'm not showing you all of them is because Lisa from Kindred Stitcher just did a wonderful show and tell of Brenda Gervais with Thy Needle and Thread witches or her charts that have witches. So I'm not going to be redundant and talk about that, but I am going to show some of the ones I don't think she showed these. But my memory is not what it used to be. Be Ye Thankful by Brenda Gervais. This is a new one that just came out this year. That again would be a good one to be to do in November. Um, this one got kind of re-released. This was the one that came out kind of exclusive on her site and now it's out. Let's see here. I Love Fall Most of All, Brenda Gervais. I think I just saw on Country Sampler they had this one kitted. Isn't that cute? The original kit came with the pumpkins and all that good stuff. I Love Fall Most of All by Brenda Gervais. Autumn's Fruitful Vine. This one is kitted. I love that big something <laughs> when the year from fruitful labor turns to rest founts of warmth and comfort in my in my being flow that must be a quote from somebody because it doesn't really rhyme <laughs> but i really like this the guy and the gal these are the kind of people i like i like funky people um i don't like real looking people like on samplers i don't like real looking people they kind of freak me out but I like funky people. These are funky people. You know, women that have <laughs> huge hips, small waist, you know, just goofy looking. But I don't know what that is in the middle. Could be a basket with a pumpkin in it. Whatever it is, it's got a bird sitting on it. And that one I have kitted. Here's an older one by Brenda. Now, again... Things like this, you can probably find on her um, website, which is 
countrystitchesonline.com. Boo and Babble. Love the pumpkin. And this one, you can make it 3D by putting little pieces of wool for the flower petals with the sheep. Um, I don't know. This this is an older one. I don't know if um, Lisa showed this one. Three Black-Eyed Susans. Pumpkin Hen Witch standing on a cauldron. I mean, who doesn't need that? Doesn't everybody need that? Uh, Queen of the Harvest. Love that. Funky people. Love it. You're going to be here for a while, aren't you? <laughs> this is where the bittersweet blooms. I didn't realize there was a stitch along for this, but I was watching Kathy Lounsbury and Nancy from the So and So's, S-E-W-N, the letter N, S-E-W-S. And... I think Kathy has it finished and Nancy was working on it. So go check out their latest video, Floss Tubes, the so-and-sos. So like sewing and, um, but it's a play on word. <laughs> you know, my dad was the king of, you know, old what's, old what's his name, you know? <laughs> you know, what do you call it? I so relate. <laughs> so, you know. The neighbors were the so-and-sos. You know, the so-and-sos that lived down the street. Well, now they've made a pun out of it, so-and-sos. Anyway, go check them out. Because they just, uh, Nancy's working on it, I think, and Kathy has finished it. And they did different colors, so you can see the different choices of colors. But this would be so fast to do. Oh, I might have to, let's see what it calls for. Apple Brown Bindi by r and &R. I don't know if I have any of that. I might. I don't know. Gentle art, classic color works. Yeah. If you didn't have the colors, you could certainly make it work. Okay, let's see. Here's another um, Souvenirs of the Heart. This is another one that's over one. I love that one, though. Not a fan of squirrels, but I could, I could do a couple squirrels sitting on a house in a basket. And this one is done on uh, 28 count mushroom Lugana, which I bought a bunch of because evidently I thought I was just going to really get into over one stitching. <sighs> Again, this one is called Autumn in. Well, I'm going to have to look because I can't read that font. Autumn in Amana. That's what it was. We got this in a, at the Amana colonies a couple years ago. It's out now, though. And then, of course, there's this, which is uh, Autumn's Acorn Gathering. This just came out. And I got mine kitted from Farm Girl Dry Goods. So Michelle has a great website. I haven't ordered a lot from her, but I'm going to start ordering more. She's, she sends them very quickly. If she has everything in stock, you get it right away. Farm Girl Dry Goods. We'll put it in the drop-down box. So, Autumn's Acorn Gathering. I wasn't going to do the squirrels. I've told you the story. I wasn't going to do the squirrels. But then they're so dapper, you know. The little squirrel guy is just so cute. Okay, I'm going to keep going. I know it's 43 minutes, but you got all the time in the world like me, right? This is another one. This is a book that came out. Did this come out at Market? Yeah, I think so. Market in the spring. I have it full of floss, so I'm sure I kitted it for um, the spring one. Didn't do the spring. Didn't do the summer. Now I should do the autumn, but it's Seasons of the Heart. And this is fall into winter. But all four of these are just adorable. Spring, summer, fall, winter. <sighs> so many fun things to stitch. How do you decide? 
Okay, is that all of the Brenda Gervais that I pulled? I think so. I think so. Here's another Not Forgotten Farm, Summerfield. Look at how cute she is. Now that's a funky person. Not Forgotten Farm, Summerfield. And this is, um, this just calls for DMC. Love that girl. Now, this is more like, you know, a lot of people decorate with bees and bee skeps and all of that in August. But to me, that's definitely more fall. Here's a Pineberry Lane kit. Sorry. That I definitely got from Dying to Stitch. You need not be afraid of me. I'm just a grown-up pumpkin seed by Pineberry Lane. This came out in 2020, so I'm sure it's probably available now. Usually it takes about a year for the designer to reissue something that was exclusive. I'm sorry, these are all going to make a noise. They're in that our least favorite bags. Another Pineberry Lane, The Witch's Garden. And this one, let's see when this came out. Hold on. I'm sure if you look Pineberry Lane, you'll be able to. This one came out. It says COVID. <laughs> Year COVID. So this is The Witch's Garden. Very cute. She does some really cute, funky people. The Witch's Garden. And I mean, all of these are like all kitted. Like I, I have the, the linen, the floss, the trim. I have no excuse, people. Okay, I'm going to see if you can see this one without taking it out. This is Gather. This came out in 2020. By Pineberry Lane. She's a cute. Okay. Um, I didn't grab Frederick, but y'all know I finished. Well, maybe you don't know. Why should I assume? That's kind of rude of me. Frederick, I finished him. This is by Carriage House. I finished him this summer. And now I need to do his friend, Frederica. Sister, girlfriend, who knows? So she's all kitted and ready to go. So that's a carriage house. One that I need to work on. You know, anything that has these kind of orangey, fall, dark gold, browns, and black colors, I just associate them with fall. <laughs> it's like if it's red, white, and blue, you associate it with summer. Okay, I'm going to keep going. This, I love this one. This is October 31st by Kathy Barrick. And some of the Carriage House ones came out when Kathy Barrick was Carriage House. Now Carriage House, I think, is her sister, Marty Barrick. You can go to carriagehouse.com. You can buy a lot of these older patterns but this is not older this is October 31st um, I'm not sure when this one came out but it's not too too old I don't think love that you know Kathy Barrick's things tend to have a lot of stitching which I like but you kind of have to beware here's another one and someone had asked me if I showed a um, pumpkin with a house and I think this might be the one she's referring to I'm not sure carriage house samplings falls gifts another great one with pumpkins and it says Hattie Jane Cahill 1826 you remember old Hattie Jane don't you very cute I'm gonna do it on the dark chestnut fabric versus doing it on black which I think will be just as cute 
Don't you like my optimism? I'm going to do this on this. Here's another carriage house. Ravens and pumpkins and cats. Oh, my. And keep in mind, all those zigzags in the background are stitched. So that is, that's nigh on full coverage. Um, if it's on 40 count, it's five and three quarters by five and three quarters. So it's not huge, but it is a lot of stitching. Another Cathy Barrick. This one is Autumn Harvest Sampler. I just love these. Now this one is 108 by 116. It looks like it's going to be big, but on 40 count, it's again, five, five and a half by five and three fours. This one is on 36 count mocha linen from Weeks Dye Works. I don't know if I have any mocha, but you could, there's a lot of different fabrics you could use. Anything that's kind of a tan, brownish tan. That is so cute. Doesn't it look bigger though? It looks like it's about 10 by 10. I think that's funny when we look at something and think they're so much bigger. Here's another Kathy, or uh, yeah, Kathy Barrick. This may be the one, and I can't remember her name, but one of the gals asked me. A pumpkin with a house in the middle of it. This is Jack's urn. And again, all that in the background is stitched. But 145 by 139 is the stitch count. Seven and a quarter by six and seven eighths. That would fit in an eight by 10. No, be a little small, maybe a, I don't know. Have to probably maybe be a custom frame, but that's really cute. And then I've probably shown this a million times, Autumn on Lazy Bear Mountain. There's a couple people that I've, that are stitching this. Somebody's stitching it over one. Is that Lisa Kindred Stitcher? Are you the crazy one? Are you the crazy one that's stitching this over one? Oh, blessings to you, my dear. I love that. There's a lot of stitching on that. There's a lot of stitching, but you know, I have it all kitted. So this is a definite start at some point because I, it's just like Olga stocking, gather in. Some of those ones I've had for, a, I don't know how we'll gather in, but Olga stocking I've had for a long time. You know, it's like, okay, let's just do some of those. So many times I'm a f drawn to the brand new things, the shiny, you know, new things. And I have so many beautiful things in my, in my stash that I should stitch that are kitted, ready to just like put a needle to it. Carol, go. Okay, let's see what else I have in this bag or basket of tricks. This is a fabulous one. Jenny Bean's Halloween Sampler. Somebody just showed this. I just love that. Jenny Bean's Halloween Sampler. This is by Shakespeare's Peddler. You could definitely find it on Kitten Stitcher's website. You know, and it's that f famous saying, when I'm dead and in my grave and all my bones are rotten, if this you see, th pray think of me or I will be forgotten. There's another one that's like, where you are I once was, where I am you will be. <laughs> In other words, I used to be alive, and now I'm dead. You're alive, and someday you'll be dead. Okay, I have some other goodies in here. Just a second. I've been putting a lot of fall in this basket. There's Prairie Schooler. I won't show you all of those. Um, there's a lot of Prairie Schooler fall, and... Halloween. I think it was Christy, Daisy Case Primitives. I think she might have just finished this one. This is uh, trick, just called Trick or Treat. And I actually have this kitted. It's 30 count. I'd have to use two strands. But I have it kitted with some green linen that I think came from Shepherd's Bush. That would be cute on green linen. And then there's lots of cuties that I could add to my tree. My little black Halloween tree with this one. And this is called Boo to You. 
The Prairie Schooler ones are just classic. Here's one that's Pumpkin Patch. I also have a um, one that's one of my whips is a Prairie Schooler. See the yellow pumpkin fat and round growing in a patch on the ground. It will make a jack-o'-lantern with two big eyes, or maybe I will bake it into two fat pies. These are just classic. But there again, that foursome, you could do individual ones and do ornaments. Cute, cute. I have a lot of other fall ones. Um... I'm just going to pick a few out of this basket. This is a Barbara Anna, something wicked. She's a funky person. Something wicked. Something uh, By the pricking of my thumb, something wicked this way comes. <laughs> I just love outer proportion people. Like that head is like... Five times the size of her feet. <laughs> That's by Barbara Anna. Here's another Barbara Anna. This one you can actually put wool on. Wool pennies. I don't think I would do that, but you could. The Witch, the Crow, and the Pumpkin. Barbara Anna. And those round circles are uh, wool pennies. This is a classic Barbara Ann. A lot of people have done this one. October 31st. Cute with the alphabet. I was watching the Sable Stitchers, one of their older ones that they did this summer on ABCs. <laughs> that would be a candidate for their ABC montage. Here's another Barbara Anna, Autumn Keeper. See, some of these smalls, I should just get them done. I need to start some sort of a plan where I work. If I'm working on samplers, I also like, you know, at some point in time during the month, do a small. Because some of them take two or three days at the most. And then I did spend the better part of yesterday. Well, I spent probably four hours doing those three FFOs. It just takes a while. I did take some pictures of different stages. And of course, my husband said, well, why didn't you just record it? It's hard to record when your phone is up here and you don't know what you're, what you're seeing in your field of vision. So in other words, you could be thinking that your camera's right over what you're working on, where really it's off to the side or whatever, unless you're 12 foot tall, which I'm not, to be able to see above, above your camera. But I did take some pictures, and I'd, I'm not sure I have to talk to Mike about how we can do that, where I could maybe do a video and then he could keep inserting pictures. Okay, here's step one, and then I could describe step two because i know for for some people finishing is kind of daunting but like of the three things i finished um one of them was the little hoop with the cat in the moon that one did not require any sewing i mean it, a little bit of basting but not with a sewing machine and this one required not using a sewing machine. So the only one was the pillow that required any use of a sewing machine. So you could almost do some of that finishing, you know, by hand. Here's, a, here's Prunella Squash Bottom, and I need to finish her to go with the Reverend. This is by Not Forgotten Farm. Prunella Squash Bottom. Squash Bottom. She's a cutie. Um, Halloween Queen, here's another pumpkin head by Not Forgotten Farm. She has some adorable prim. I love her designs. Um, here's another Not Forgotten Farm. This, 
This was actually a club kit from Country Sampler, I be, believe it was the Prim Sisters Club. And it was like a long time ago, like 10 years ago. But this one is Old Witch Mary. Not Forgotten Farm, because I have it kitted. Cute. Uh, Basket of Jacks. That's a cute one. Not Forgotten Farm. These just really wouldn't take all that long. This is another book, and I don't know if this is still available. Um, this is Autumn at Not Forgotten Farm. I've had this book for quite a while. There's also, I think there's a spring and a summer. And this was put out by Kansas City Star. But let me show you one that... I saw this made up one time, and that's why I bought the book. This has punch needle in it, too. This is called Turkey Trot. I love this. Love it. Turkey Trot. By Not Forgotten Farm in her autumn at Not Forgotten Farm. I just need to do that big gold house. It's a salt box. <laughs> but she does a lot of different uh, mediums. This one's cute too. This one is called Old Farmhouse. But she, like I said, she has punch needle. Here's a... Um, a thimble keep that's a stuff like a stuffed shoe so she has a lot of cute things in there thread milk for the bowl series this is halloween she also has a cute one out for thanksgiving thread milk designs Drawn thread. I had a friend that did this one, and I immediately kitted it up, and I haven't even touched it. When Skeletons Dance. Oh, I love that. By the drawn thread. When I die, there's, there's going to be a big sale. <laughs> Here's another drawn thread. Welcome. Welcome Halloween, I guess it is. <sighs> Nisi, Nisi has done some of these. Nisi Lynn, if you watch her floss tube. I don't know if she's done Halloween, but I think she's done a couple of the drawn thread. Spooky Countdown. This is by Primitive Hair. That's cute. Um, hold on here. Oh, I showed you, this is a uh, Lottie Da. I showed you the little one that I did that was um, something wicked, I think. But this is the other one with the full shoe. Love that. <laughs> Hands to work. This is Alpha Bat. How cute is that? The pumpkin with a bat. Very cute. And you can't forget Stacy Nash. There's a lot of Stacy Nash. I only pulled a few. This is Butternut House Pin Keep with the pumpkins, jack o' lanterns. Love that. That is kitted and ready to go. I need to sort out ones that I'm like, I want to start this today versus ones that I could wait on. This is, was a country sampler, but it's a Stacy Nash, and I'm sure it's available, Toil and Trouble. But it was a kid originally in the Stacy Nash Club. 
This was came out in 2016. Here's another one. Well, I've seen a lot of people do this one. Country Sampler, again, this was part of their Stacy Nash Club. Jack's House, Pin Keep. I showed you one last time that was on a blue linen that was a Stacy Nash. So these were all part of that club. Nancy from the So and So's has this almost finished. House of Berries, Chapel Road, Turkey Hollow Farm, Stacy Nash. This is this has to go to the top of the list. All these gold houses, I just love them. Red house, gold house, you name it. Just don't give me purple house. I do not like purple. Probably because when I grew up, my mom had put curtains, and they were all ballerinas, and the curtains they had a white background. I can still see them. And they were like a chintz, so they were kind of shiny, polished cotton. That's what it was called, polished cotton fabric. And they were ballerinas and the ballet shoes. I was never a ballerina. And then my room was painted a purple. And this is probably why to this day I don't like purple. It was like, okay, this is too much. But, you know, a lot of little girls when they're like, you know, five or four to eight. What's your favorite color? Purple. <laughs> Maybe I told my mom that. I don't know. <laughs> Here's a cute Chessie and me. We got this last year at the, um, I think this is, I got it at a retreat. I don't remember if it was at Coulter Station, but I'm sure at some point this one will come out. Acorn Stitch House. Chessie and me. She has some really cute fall ones too. One more Chessie and Me Harvest Time. Chessie and Me. Cute. Like a white barn with pumpkins. I think that's all I have in this basket. So that is all the fall that I'm going to show you. I think that's plenty to get you started on your search. I did the random generator comment picker and the Blossom Babushka's Blossom, which is a, um, I don't wanna say that word, <laughs> away give. This is an away give. <laughs> and it goes to Patricia Sanford. So that was weird because I know her. Patricia Sanford, you won. And the other thing, after I did my um, mini quilt video and I just wanted to make sure that the person who won this sees that she won it. Her name is Barbara Yarnell. She won the Quilt Club book. So an hour and eight minutes. I don't think that's too bad. I think I've shown you everything that I wanted to show you. So, um, hope you're all doing well. I'll be, like I said, off to a retreat on Thursday. So, oh, I know, I did want to show one thing. What did I do with it? The retreat is, here it is, Lori Markovic. No, sorry. Yes. Lori Brecklin is not Forgotten Farm. Lori Markovic is la -dee da and so this is what I'm going to take to work on because this is my Christmas present for my daughter. Awake my soul and sing. By la -dee da So I'm going to take this and at least if I can get the borders worked on, even the words, I'll be a happy camper. I have it kitted with the called for legacy and um, it's a combination of DMC weeks. So that is what I'm going to take with me to work on. So hope you all are doing well and I hope you have a good week. And I hope you're starting to get some fall temperatures. I actually got out my slippers. We had super cold here for us. Like mornings in the 50s. I think this morning it was, wasn't it in the 40s this morning? Yes, it was. That's cold for Florida in October. That's cold. I love it. <laughs> good sleeping weather. 
Oh, one morning I didn't get up till almost 10. <laughs> when you stay up till 2, that's what happens. Anyway, just thankful I'm at a stage in my life where I can do that. So, hope you all are doing well. I'll say that one more time. And I hope you get lots of stitching done this week. So, I will see you next time in a couple weeks. Love you. Bye.